some treats because it's Easter and you know, not really doing anything for Easter. So yeah, I'm just sort of chilling here a little bit and I'll be back home because I have nothing to do this weekend. <laughs> but yeah, had a good shopping trip. Waiting for the bus and I have to wait like nearly an hour because I would have like, I think it's like one o'clock now and the last one came at like, oh, like, um, 12.55. So I'm back at home, been home for a while. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, basically I just went to like the shops, went to Aldi, then Woolworths, and then yeah, I had to like wait for the bus and stuff. Oh, and I sat down, which is like where you saw me. Um, but I want to show you, because it's like Easter and I'm not really doing anything except I'm going to be here having lots of phone calls and everything with everyone. Um, but, so this week I got like a few different things than I normally would, um, but this Mose of Roth, you would have seen it in like the little, ooh, one of the clips at the beginning, but basically, um, this is like really good dark non-dairy like chocolate, no eggs or anything, um, it has soy in it and almonds, this certain flavour. But um, yeah, I think a, lots of people find like dark chocolate or non-dairy chocolate really like, oh, it's going to be really bad, but try this one, Moza Roth. Um, I was like, usually I would get the mint one because they come in lots of different flavours and then you can get like this brand in milk chocolate, which has the milk, but... Um, like my godmother gave these to like her nieces and nephews who are quite young and they liked the dark chocolate like it's really good um, and they come in like little packs so you can just give one to them and it's not like having a certain amount of blocks or anything like that um, but yeah usually I would have got I probably would have gotten the mint one but I was trying to find thin mints which if you've ever heard of them it's like after dinner mints or something like that and apparently people used to always have them like after dinner and instead of putting just like a mint in your mouth it's like the peppermint minty like gooey stuff and then like dark chocolate around it but it's really thin and so it's just sort of like a I don't know if they would have had them after dessert or after like before dessert or something but either way it's like like I guess a sweet thing but it's like a mint in your mouth um but they're like really thin and my godmother found some in Aldi and they were vegan so because it must have been like dark chocolate no like milk or anything and what was inside wasn't like anything I couldn't eat so they are and like when I tried them they were so good and they're just like really nice and thin and it's good amount of like chocolate and mint together like it's not too much of one of the parts like I really like them but I couldn't find them like and that's why I didn't get the mint one of these I was choosing between this one and a salt one but I ended up going with this one this one's orange and almond um but yeah, and then like when I went to Woolworths, I like found some other like after dinner mint things, but they were more expensive and they had milk in them, so I couldn't have them. But if you're like lactose intolerant or you just prefer dark chocolate or you just want to be healthier or you're a vegan or anything like that, then try this chocolate out because it tastes so good. And I really like the orange and almond. I know that. Lots of people don't like orange and chocolate together, um, but if you do, then that's a good flavour. But I, um, like, if you're first trying it out, I would go for the mint or just the plain salt one. But I've also tried a chilli one, which isn't too chilli, but it's, like, chilli flavoured, and it was, like, a new cranberry one that I tried last year. Uh, and then there's, like, just a plain really dark chocolate but that's like really dark I can't eat them that one alone but yeah so I thought just for a little Easter tree I'd get that um and I got some a few other like 
little Easter treats. But I also wanted to mention the milk that I get. So being like someone who eats um, vegan, I don't drink milk or anything. So I have like almond milk, soy milk, coconut milk, anything like that. But my favourite one is almond and coconut milk. And my basically my favourite brand to get like nut milk or just milk that I drink is so the So Good brand. And it there's even like they have um ice creams and stuff which they use that are so good. But anyway, talking about just the milk. Um I've tried lots of other like almond milks and soy milks in different brands and some are alright and some are just like I can't have them. <laughs> like they're really gross. But so good. I love like I love that plain almond milk. I love um the soy milk which I don't have I only have often like every now and then I started off having like soy milk all the time but then I um started getting like almond milk and I really enjoyed almond milk and then I got almond and coconut together because that was like a new one and I get the unsweetened one so there's no like added sugar to make it taste nicer I actually don't like they don't call it sweetened they just have original but I actually don't like the original because it like I can taste the sugar that's just me personally I just really don't like it so I always get the unsweetened whether it's almond milk or the almond and coconut but yeah I just found there's like so many other milks and I'm trying kind of like afraid to try other brands because I, I've tried some that really don't taste very good but so good tastes very good so if you're someone who's lactose intolerant or just prefers nut milk or is trying to be a little bit healthier and substitute some of your milk for a different like a healthier option or you're vegan then um definitely try the so good i'm not sure where you can get it i know in australia because i've gotten it in adelaide melbourne and sydney um you can't get them at aldi that's like the main reason why i go to woolworths but they're at woolworths and coles i'm pretty sure but sometimes you can only get the coconut and almond mix at woolworths but I have seen it at Coles like once before or something. But I do have to mention in Sydney, like it's like nearly $4 and then it's always on special for $3. But in Adelaide, it was like $3 normally, but was always on special for like $1 something. But that's all right. <laughs> I mean, I'm only buying for me where in Adelaide, I, when I was living with um, my godmother, we like brought her bought a few at a time because um most of us like I, both of us were drinking it and then she used that in like lots of different cooking and stuff that she did but yeah I just really like so good milk it's so good and like coconut milk you can get really in any brand and it tastes like similar um but almond milk and soy milk especially if you're particular or maybe you've tried a brand of like almond milk and you don't like it then try soy so good almond milk because it tastes really good i just really like it and then um if you want to try the almond and coconut because that's really good too um but yeah that's like the milk that i have and that i really like and the main reason why i go to two supermarkets because um you can't get it at Aldi, so I like to get it at Woolworths. And I could technically shop, like, do all my grocery shopping at Woolworths, but Aldi's a lot cheaper with the things that I buy. Um, so, yeah. And Aldi also has a really good... I like a peanut butter lover, and I like just the natural peanut butter where it's 100% peanuts. And usually, like, 100% peanuts, like tastes like the same because literally whatever brand it is it's peanuts though I guess they could get the peanuts from certain different places but um a lots of um natural peanut butters like that can be very expensive but the one at Aldi is three dollars and that's like cheaper than some ones with like added sugar and salt and stuff so and it tastes so good like I'm in love with the Audi peanut butter. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's a good, like, if you 
want to get like a cheaper option of peanut butter um like a cheaper natural option then try the Aldi one because it's very nice and it's all natural 100% peanuts so yeah just thought I'd tell you a little bit about my shopping because it's been a little shopping day um yeah I'm just I don't know whether to watch a movie or keep watching YouTube or watch a TV show like I just don't know but I'm gonna get something to eat right now anyway and yeah that'll probably be like me this weekend but I just thought why not like treat myself because it's Easter a little chocolate just <laughs> um but yeah my favorite thing if you haven't tried is getting frozen berries and my favorite is frozen raspberries so I get frozen raspberries and having it with like oats or different cereals that you like or like your own granola or just anything like that with some peanut butter and then you can just add whatever like nuts it's basically like a smoothie bowl like what you see on all the Instagram stuff you can basically have that but instead of having the smoothie necessarily like all made up you just have the frozen berries alone with the milk and the cereal and stuff so it's all crunchy and all stuff but it's not like eating liquid I guess like it's not and you don't have to blend anything you just sort of put it together um yeah if you haven't tried that then try that because that's like I love it it's like so good <laughs> yeah anyway um I'm going to go get something to eat and then watch something. I don't know. But I'll get back to you. <laughs> hey guys. So it's 9.12. Nearly <laughs> quarter past nine. Um, I've just finished watching The Best of Me. It's on Netflix. Well, see everyone says like this is on Netflix. But then I think it's different in each country. So, it's on the Australian Netflix. <laughs> um, yeah, I've watched it before and I just really liked it. just felt like watching it. Um, so, yeah, I've just been chilling. Probably going to either watch another movie or, like, watch YouTube. Like, it's probably my front now. <laughs> um, and just, like, go to watch something and then, like, go to sleep. So, yes. Um, oh! A reminder for you guys happy Easter because when you're watching this if this is a one day vlog then it'll be up tomorrow so it is Easter so I hope you have a good day and hope you're having the rest of a good day or if you're watching this afterwards and I've put the weekend together then I hope you had a lovely Easter I hope that you spent time with some family or just just comment down below what you did this Easter, I'd really like to know. And just remember that Easter's not all about chocolate. Like for me, Easter's about the resurrection of Jesus and, well, I mean, there's lots of things that happened to him before. But Easter Sunday is about, for me, it's about the resurrection of Jesus and Easter's also about spending time with family. For others, it might be family and chocolate <laughs> for others it might be something they don't celebrate and the long weekend is just time to spend with friends and family and no um but yeah i hope you guys have have or had a wonderful easter whenever you're watching this and yeah just remember that it's a time to relax and a time to be thankful and a time to be loving and caring and kind to your family and your friends. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow on Easter and I think that's it. So yeah, night.